Hello my dear students, today we are doing a very important topic called Sankey Diagram. So let's learn Sankey Diagram. Now what is Sankey Diagram? Sankey Diagram displays flows and their quantities in proportion to one another. The width of the arrow or the lines are used to show their magnitude. It means that it is a diagrammatical form of input and output so we show the input and the output in the form of a diagram and the output which we show that we show in the form of arrows or lines now the width of the arrow decides the amount of quantity which is come out as output so if the width is more means the quantity or the amount of conversion has taken more if the width of the arrow is less or the line is less it means that less conversion has taken place in the form of output. Alright, so that's Sankey diagram. Let us understand how to draw a Sankey diagram. So, we'll be talking about how to draw a Sankey diagram in detail. So, here in this part, we'll learn two ways of drawing a Sankey diagram. Number one, with grid and number two, without grid. So, we'll be learning two ways. That is one is with grid and second one is without grid. Right, let's understand how to draw a Sankey diagram with grid. So here is the first numerical view. A CFL has input energy of 100 Joule out of which 40 Joule is converted into light energy and 60 Joule is converted into heat energy. Draw a Sankey diagram to show the above conversions. Fantastic. So we have a CFL, right? The CFL input is 100 Joule and CFL is supposed to give us light energy. So here the light energy which is 40 joule is our useful energy and 60 joule which is a heat energy is a byproduct so always before we draw the Sankey diagram we are supposed to understand which one is a useful energy and which one is a waste energy why do we need to know that because when we are drawing it we have to draw the useful energy first and the wasted energy later let's see in the diagram so here is a grid here I am supposed to first think about the scale so for the scale here is I have got 100 Joule as the electrical energy which is the input. So how many squares I am supposed to select? That's become your scale. So here is since it is 100 Joule, if I take 10 squares, so 10 tens are 100. So each square will be equal to 10 Joule. So that's enough for me. So each square representing 10 Joule here, right? Okay. Now we talked about that it's a CFL and gives out the 40 joule of light energy so from here 1 2 3 4 4 squares so i'll be counting 1 2 3 4 this 4 square will represent light energy 4 square means each is 10 so 4 tens are 40 so that is 40 joule is a light energy now remaining 60 joule is converted into heat energy so obviously i have left with 6 okay so this entire 6 portion is nothing but is going to be your heat energy one point to be noted when i'm drawing the next part next conversion that is the wasted energy this started from where this light energy is ending mean this line so i am attaching this and drawing it okay and also one more thing is if this is six boxes or squares throughout this arrow this has to be the length or the width has to be six squares only if it is less or more it is wrong so that should be kept in mind so if it is six squares this will remain six squares similarly if it is four square throughout it has to be a four square only right so that's the first one let's move on to the next one a bulb has input energy of 100 joule out of which 10 joule is converted into light energy 90 joule is converted into heat energy right so draw a Sankey diagram to show the above conversions fantastic okay again I have a grid so in this grid I have to take scale I have 100 joule of electrical energy so obviously 10 squares enough for me so here if I look at this the sum says that it's a bulb and the bulb is supposed to give light energy too so light energy is become a useful energy for us and the remaining is heat energy which is a waste energy for us so it's a 10 joule so here if you look at this in this grid since each square is of 10 so the only for 10 joule i need only one square so this one square 
straight I put an arrow and this become 10 joule is the right energy and it's a useful energy for me now remaining 90 joule so because there are nine boxes or nine squares this entire nine box or nine squares become a 90 joule which is a heat energy again I remind you this arrow has to start from where the light energy gets over and the width of this arrow will remain same throughout if it is changing it's wrong so this width has to be same throughout so this is called as if I call it as vertical uh, width this I can call it as horizontal width so this should be the same to tell you put the arrow sign here right so that's my second diagram let's move on to the third one wow third one is quite interesting too many convergence it seems right a windmill has a wind energy of 100 joule out of which 30 joule is converted to electrical 40 joule is converted into kinetic 20 joule is converted into heat and 10, 10 joule is converted into sound energy wow so draw Sankey diagram to show the above conversions right no problem so here is the input is 100 only so I need 10 squares that's my scale each is 10 now here is saying that this is a windmill and the windmill um, the windmill converts wind energy into electrical energy so wind energy is a here is 100 joule that's input and it's converting into 30 joule as a electrical energy so for 30 I'm supposed to select that's my useful 1 2 3 3 squares so that's a 30 joule and that's the electrical energy now moving on next is four squares from here connecting to this one two three four that's 40 joule that is kinetic energy and then 20 joule is a heat energy so two more and 10 joule is a sound energy so look at this what is happening is kinetic energy is connected to electrical now this heat energy which is the next one after kinetic i have connected to the kinetic and the last one sound energy is connected to the heat so whenever we are drawing it has to be connected to the previous part that's very important and also don't forget to keep the width of a particular energy same throughout so if it is kinetic energy this is four squares so this will remain four throughout if it is 20 it is here two squares so this will remain two for till you make this arrow similarly this has to be the one square throughout so that should be kept in mind otherwise the diagram will go wrong so I'm giving an homework a Sankey diagram so uh, homework is a drill machine has an input electrical energy of 100 joule out of which 60 joule is converted into kinetic energy 30 joule is converted into sound energy and 10 joule is converted to heat energy so here I can help you uh, with the help of so draw this Sankey diagram in the form of draw uh, the Sankey diagram to show the above conversions so since it's homework I can't help you much but then I'll help you with the useful and uh, the waste energy so here is 60 joule of uh, kinetic energy since the drill machine it will move the so kinetic energy is 60 joule that's useful and the remaining 30 joule sound and the heat is a wasted energy all right okay we have finished already with grid now we'll be doing without grid so Sankey diagrams without grid so let's learn how to draw a Sankey diagram when the grid or the graph is not given so step one decide scale okay uh, step two useful energy will always be on top step three next energy to be drawn from the line useful energy gets over same thing how we had drawn it there okay so uh, for example here when we had this useful energy getting over we are beginning the next one similarly they are also supposed to do the same right here is next energy level should start from where the previous energy level got over note that the thickness and the horizontal vertical width of the next energy should be the same yes that's also the same where the other energy level gets over from there okay we'll start drawing the next one and width of the arrow will remain same width of the arrow will always remain same as we have kept it in mind in that while drawing the width grid all right so let us draw that so 
the first one. Electrical energy of 100 percent is supplied out of which 70 is converted into kinetic and 30 percent is converted into sound and thermal. So let's draw a Sankey diagram. Okay, so here is since I have not exact measurement I've taken, so I've written not to scale. Please keep in mind. All right, so here I'm supposed to draw. First, I'm supposed to take a scale, right? So my scale will be since it is 100%. Uh, so I think I should take 10 centimeter line. So I've taken 10 centimeter line. So this line is stand for 10 centimeter, which is my electrical energy as 100%. Now, out of this 10%, or 10 centimeter 70 percent is converted into kinetic energy so out of this 7 centimeter will be converted into kinetic energy so 7 centimeter i have made it for kinetic energy and remaining 3 centimeter will be my thermal and the sound so thermal and sound here so this will become my useful energy and this is the waste energy which i have drawn it like this so you're supposed to just take a measurement. So what is very important? First, you have drawn useful energy, then wasted energy. The wasted energy is connecting to the first useful energy. Suppose any other uh, energy would have been there, I would have connected to this. So that you have to keep in mind. Moving on to the next one. A television has energy output of 500 joule. Out of that, 400 joule is in the form of light and 50 joule is in the form of sound. And the, another 50 joule is in the th form of thermal energy. So let's draw it here. So I have electrical energy, okay, which is 500 joule, which is given, right, which is giving the output energy as 400 joule. So I will take this, this is 500 joule. So I need 5 centimeter, okay. So out of 5 centimeter, 4, 4 centimeter is utilized for drawing the light energy, which is a useful energy because television, I need light energy. That's a useful energy. So 4 centimeter is utilized for light energy. Now, remaining 50 joule and the 50 joule is sound and thermal. So, obviously, I am left with 1 centimeter. So, out of this 1 centimeter, 0 0.5 centimeter is gone for sound. And next, 0 0.5 centimeter is gone for thermal energy. And that completes my Sankey diagram. So, look at this here. When I am connect, when I'm drawing this, this sound energy, I am connecting to this. When I am drawing the thermal energy, I am connecting to the previous one. And this length 0 0.5 throughout it should be the same. Throughout should be the same. That should be kept in mind. I give you one homework. I think you will do it because you have already drawn two. A hairdryer converts 300 joule of energy into energy into 150 joule of kinetic energy, 100 joule of thermal energy, and 50 joule of sound energy. So I have drawn this. It will look like this. Hope you will take the proper skill and draw this. If not, please let me know. I will help you out next time. Thank you very much.